welcome back to another video how are you all doing i hope you are keeping safe hope you are doing well and easy weather wherever you're watching me from it's spring here and we're enjoying spring a bit of sun a bit of rain here and there <laughs> we are not complaining anyway <laughs> no one is complaining like we are enjoying the weather as it is so this is one of the two part series where i'll be doing book for chase i did a video on cost of living in canada in that video i said the way i save on grocery it is through buck purchase and um i buy some things in a farm i share with friends you know these are ways i save money here in canada so in today's video i'm going to two farms in toronto so let's go i'll show you the two farms where i get to buy my um meats yeah my proteins <laughs> and i apologize i add to all my vegetarian subscribers by showing meat in today's video i apologize i add <laughs> To my vegetarian subscribers right so um for all my subscribers that are eager to know farms where you can buy meat here in um, like goat's meat um meats um beef and all of that i'm going to two farms that are in toronto and these farms are about one hour 35 minutes away from kitchener waterloo yeah that's a long drive and um if you're in toronto it's like 35 minutes drive i'll leave all the details about the farms on the screen in this video this is what this series is about come with me to the farm and it's a rainy day as well so it's a bit wet so come with me enjoy this video if you are coming across my channel for the first time subscribe for everything canada living i show you um, how i save money here i share business ideas you know all the fun stuff all the good stuff is what you get to see on this channel and to my OGs, thank you for always rocking with me so let's go on a road trip to toronto there are lots of interesting things on your way to toronto like the scenic view is so so nice here at the farm like i said this is the first time i've come to this particular farm so this is called bonds goats and it is measured per lb at L and M, where I bought last year, the last time I bought was September, November last year. It was seven ninety nine per LB, but right now it's nine ninety nine per LB. I got to know about this farm through two four zero four foot on Instagram. She posted it one day that she came here to get for more, and I was like, I need this plug right now. She gave me the number I called, and here we are today. The difference between this place and L and M is because. I can see the meat myself, but at L and M is already packed. You can't go into the processing room. It's packed, boxed for you. you. Just pick it when you arrive. But yeah, I can see and point. You know, point and kill. <laughs> and this is the Como, the cow skin that announced this farm. <laughs> So this is just our own fun way of traveling outside of Kitchener to the city of Toronto. The whole place is so messy, like the environment is so erratic because of the rain. So I can't show you around the environment because it's not a pleasant sight. So we are here at the second farm, L and M. If you are familiar with Toronto very well, if you know Lorry Meat, yes, this L and M is owned by Lorry Meat as well. Because L and M, you have to call, you have to book ahead. coming into the designer outlet to buy some clothing so it's just like using one stone to kill two beds so i bought all of this in the first farm and the total cost was 549 dollars 91 cents for the um bunt goat's meat the pomo the uh, tongue yeah so this, this is what i bought in that um first farm it was 549 dollars 91 cents apology to my vegetarian subscribers if you are watching this and you are a vegetarian i'm so sorry that i'm showing this this is one of the ways i save money here in canada so if you are here in canada let me know if you buy things like this from the farm and if you don't know about farm just do a google search of where to buy bond goats near me or you can ask african store owners if they share meat yeah some of them share meat in their city so they just go to the farm buy in bulk so with L and M, you call ahead, you book, and the box sits like this before your arrival. You just pay at their office, and you go to the um, 
processing room show them your receipts or is um invoice and they will bring your box out and i'm um, l and m i spent 200 dollars l and m is lorry mates as well if you're in toronto you know lorry mates yeah so l and m is would i say subsidiary or a part of lorry mates yeah so it's more like where they have the book purchase so i spent 200 dollars there for the tribe and the beef a box of cow beef is 20 lb so that's the weight 20 lb and this box is 60 dollars let me know in the comment section do you buy from farm are you aware that you, there are farms here in canada that you can buy things like this so i bought a full box of shaki this is tripe so it's packed in half and half and a full box was 140 dollars one thing I've noticed about buying meat in the farm is that the price for the meat is not fixed. Yeah, like you could call today and it would be $8.99 per LB. It could be $7.99 per LB. Like with L&M, just call ahead. They don't do work-ins. You have to book ahead. Maybe it could be a day ahead or even hours ahead just to give you a heads up. Uh, but with the first farm, it was a work-in. But one thing I've just to say this, one thing I've noticed about the prices of the meat is that it is not static. We tripe, we've been buying um, tripe for this price for the longest time I can remember. But with the meat, it varies. That's the beef, it varies, okay? The total for this was about $750. And like I said in my video where I talk about cost of living in Canada, it depends on the size of your family. At least for this, I'm um, rest assured for the next six months, I'm not bothered about any type of protein. Yeah, that's covered. So that's $750 in six months on um, meats. Yeah. So the meats are now all sorted in Ziploc bags. All I need to do whenever I want to cook is bring out a bag or two for my soup and we are good. So that's about 21 bags, large Ziploc bags. And now I have the goat's legs and everything. When I buy goat's meat, it's a pepper soup day. So that's what is happening here right now. This instant pot to me is a game changer. It's faster, like cooking has been very fast for me since I began to use the instant pot. It's a pressure pot and you can cook a lot of things with it the bulk purchase for the meat is done i have this covered for the next four to six months and i don't have to worry about any type of protein like meat related protein here yeah? so now the next bulk purchase will be at the african store i still have some things though but i need to get some more things so i'll be showing you the african store that i'll be buying from in my next video Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section how often do you buy from farm if you are here in Canada. And if you are coming across my channel for the first time, please subscribe for everything Canada living. I show you around Canada just like I did today. How I save money and share business ideas as well. To all my oldies, thank you for rocking. And to my new subscribers, you are welcome. Bye now. See you in the next one. <music>